December 4th, 2016. I uploaded a video called Overwatch Destruction. It was just one of my play of the games with Lucio. I would just record it all off my Xbox and upload it with Xbox's editing software. It was some app, I forgot what it was called, but it, it's not here anymore. Whatever's, and I made all my thumbnails on Canva.com, it's not sponsored, which I still use today. It wasn't even that good. Anyone could've booted them niggas off the map, but I did. I booted them off the map. In sophomore year, my parasocial soulmate died the day before the last day of school. He had so much fucking potential and it was all wasted right there in that fucking parking lot. I had to pick some of it up, make use of it, make it my biggest influence to start doing music. My first recorded song, besides this one, was a rendition to Jocelyn Flores. Just rapped over it. It was okay. It wasn't great. It was honestly surprisingly amazing relative to nothing. So I kept on. In the summer of 2019, I made two songs that, to this day, I still hold dear as the greatest songs I have ever created. To me for me they're the greatest songs ever but relative to like i don't know drake they're fine they're nothing special anyone could have made it but i did i made it 2020 was a rough year for i imagine all of us it was a time of loss and confusion and in september of that year i created a collection of seven songs packaged together as summer four i'm not being humble when i say this the album was dog shit. it was horrible it, it was mixed horribly. I don't even want to go through all the details, but it was actually fucking trash. I don't even go back listening to it, and I, and I love listening to myself. There have been times where I've made songs that I didn't like, and I'll scrap it or just keep it in the vault or keep it on a certain app because I'll, I'll, you know, distribute it everywhere. But this album was so fucking bad, but it had so much potential that I kept it up. It's still up. You can look it up right now. It's horrible. Don't, don't look it up. <laughs> But you could, if you want to. I kept it up because the album symbolizes the mess that 2020 was. Hopefully, I'll take a break and get it together. And I did. Three and a half months later, January 15, 2021, I bleached my hair because of Kanye and released a song called 19. Two minutes and 51 seconds of a distorted instrumental. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly what that instrumental is called, but it is the sample that Tyler used on Odd Toddlers and also MF Dune, most notably, for One Beer. I looked up the, the, the real song to that and just distorted the fuck out of it. It's kind of like noise rock, if you think about it. Like noise lo-fi, really. It's like the rotted version of, of, of death metal by Pachinko. It's like that. For the next two weeks, I kind of just grinded and worked to make this become a real a story and a project and all of that. And two weeks later, on February, I dropped Jam. Eight songs, 23 minutes, no words said at all. I didn't rap over it. I didn't sing over it. It was just instrumentals and excerpts and everything I can find to, to get my point across to get the story and the message of the fucking songs across. The alternative title is Bumblebee because Bumblebee used the radio and, and, and used different lyrics and the songs and shit to, to convey how he feels and what he's trying to get across. And I think I also named it Bumblebee because truly anyone can do it as well. Anyone can just get clips of, of all the shit they like watching, like, like the I'm gonna kill myself by Michael Scott and just put that at the end of a song and be like, oh yeah, okay, he's sad. <laughs> like, anybody could do it. But I did it. I did it. Look, the point I'm trying to get across is I'm not special. I'm not gifted. I'm not a prodigy. Most of the art I produce is, is garbage. 90% of it is garbage. This video is garbage. Anybody could do what I'm doing. But the thing is, I'm doing it. And this is even a part of the script anymore. I don't even want to look at the script. There is luck involved. I believe in that. But the luck doesn't matter if you don't put the work in. And I'm not saying do this Sigma male grind set shit. You don't have to be David Goggins waking up at fucking 3 in the morning running 10 miles and then, and then starting your day. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to do that. 
I don't do that at all. I live a normal fucking life. Well, at least I have like one two hour class a day in the morning, wake up at eight, and then I have a fucking routine of, of you know, because I'm trying to gain weight, do body weight and all that shit. And then after that, I have the day to do whatever the fuck I want. What I'm saying for y'all niggas is I know you're not putting in the work in because I feel like you guys are complaining and trying to come up with, 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 you're trying to come up with excuses. Like there's not much time in the day, but you know something I heard somebody say? I can't explain it. I just tried to. It didn't work. He said that we all have the same 24 hours. People can complain and say they're tired because they have so much shit to do, but they don't, they don't have to do that. Like I tell my mom this all the time. Like she doesn't have to do the shit she's complaining about. The shit she says she don't want to do and the shit that makes her tired. You don't have to do it. Because this is your fucking life. There's no way doing something that I don't want to do for an outcome I don't want. That is just a waste of time. It's a waste of everything. You can't look back at that and go, damn, that was a good time. Because you didn't want to do any of that. I don't give up important things like energy and health to make it. I get rid of things that are explicitly hindering me from making it. That's it. Still go back to them occasionally, but nobody's fucking perfect. I'm trying. I'm doing it. I'm not playing five hours in one sitting anymore. I can't give you any good advice on how to break that cycle. But I can say that what I did was, was just stop. I wanted to get a thousand views on my channel, so I just put in that effort. and Stop worrying about all the things that didn't matter and only focused on what was important and what I wanted. I stopped worrying stopped caring about stupid shit and only focused on what is important just fucking do it do it right now hold on all you gotta do is put in the fucking effort stop talking about wanting to do it i don't have a mic stop saying that oh i'm, I'm gonna do it. i just need to get this ready i just i just need this i just need to get real i need to put this together these fucking headphones are my mic i don't have a camera this fucking this phone is my camera i did all of this shit on my phone for the longest time until i got this laptop but you can do this shit on a fucking chromebook dude literally like a hundred dollars or just keep your fucking phone if you have an iphone past 10 you're good i don't know what else to say next learn.